southern Wyoming at what we call the House of Grouse, doing a little falconry. Uh, I've been doing falconry up here at the House of Grouse for about 17 years and hunting grouse in Wyoming for over 30 years. Hi, my name is Steve Chengren. One of the things that uh, made sage grouse hawking possible was the invention of radio telemetry. Often grouse, which are extremely powerful birds, will fly great distances and occasionally the falcons will catch them at those along a mile or more away from the falconer. In fact, I've had flights that have gone as far as five miles, uh, it would, making it impossible to find your bird without radio telemetry. So basically, we can credit the fact that we even have this place and we're up here hawking grouse to the development of radio telemetry. Recent developments by Marshall uh, radio telemetry in uh, terms of GPS uh, transmitters have made life much easier for a lot of people. Uh, as I get older, uh, you know, uh, nothing gets a whole lot better. Your eyesight goes, uh, your legs go. Uh, I tend to fall down more often in the field, and the GPS gives me no help with any of that. But uh, it actually does help in the fact that I can make better decisions flying my birds. Even if I can't see my bird, I can glance at my phone and know where to look, know how high the bird is, know how, whether he's sitting or whether he's flying. It gives me all this crucial information that just makes life easier. When it comes to flying sage grouse, you know, say your bird goes down, stoops down over the hill and pitches up and doesn't come back, you wonder, well, should we go over there? You just wait and look at your phone for a moment. You know whether the bird's sitting or whether it's flying. If it's flying again, you stay and wait for him to remount and have another flight. It's just made falconry so much better. I, I have become a better falconer because of the judgments that I can make with this GPS system. It is truly amazing. Uh, for example, I, I went out the other day and I forgot my phone. I left my phone home. I was, I was like 30 miles from the house and I didn't want to fly without it. I wanted this GPS system. I had all the old telemetry systems, but I was so dependent on the GPS now that I went back and got my phone because I'll tell you, it is a difference maker. And uh, I would never fly without it and uh, it's going to extend my falconry career by a number of years because uh, of the information it gives me and how much easier it is for me to be able to keep track of what my bird's doing and to be able to recover my bird and it gives me the total distance the maximum speed the maximum altitude the climb rate uh, it's amazing I can have this and then when I go to work on my journals at night I have all this information like I know that my first bird Xander stooped at 104 miles per hour and then my second bird uh, went to 850 feet and stooped at 114 miles per hour and then like my third bird stooped with the fastest flight was the last one of the day 118 mile per hour stoop.
caught for it, but I think he caught it. Not only is uh, it cool to have the flight logs, but just being able to know exactly the speed and height and what your bird's doing in real time is uh, a, a game changer because it helps you to make better decisions. I mean, take the example, your bird flies off and in, in, in the past, if you had regular telemetry and you're looking at it in binoculars and he goes out of sight of the binoculars, you're probably gonna say, let's get in the car, let's go find him. With the GPS, you can see that when he's a mile and a half out, he's turning and he's coming back. And so you stand your ground. You know, often we know that when you go searching for a bird, it often comes back to where the falconer released it. GPS just helps you to make uh, those decisions without panicking and helps you to be a better falconer. And uh, there's, I would highly re recommend it. If you're doing falconry today and flying long wings and you don't have GPS, you're gonna be really happy when you get it because the Marshall GPS system is a game changer. The first time that I used it, of course, I helped uh, and they had me experiment with some of the early models and we had a few kinks we had to work out of it and Marshall went to all measures to make sure they did that, uh, that it, make sure that it operated in cold weather and all the different factors that, involve, that are involved in flying falcons all over the world. And uh, they, they put a lot of time into research and development to work out all the kinks. And when I first used it, I was amazed. I couldn't believe it. You know, it tells you where your bird is. If your bird flies off and you can't see it, you can just glance at your phone. You know if your bird's still flying or if he's sitting. And if your bird's sitting, you know, in the past, it used to be a lot of falconers would maybe try to get their bird up. They're anxious to get the flight going. So they're looking at the bird. They're maybe waving their glove and all this. But you know, with the Marshall GPS system, if my bird lands, I just get a cup of coffee and sit back in my car. I just sit and look at my phone until I see him take off. Once I see that he's flying, I get out and begin the flight, and it's beautiful. And you know that's that's really good for your bird because you never wave your glove at your bird. You just never wave a lure at your bird if it's sitting, because you're rewarding it for sitting. But if they sit and you just let them sit there till they take off, then the bird learns that it doesn't have anything happen until it gets up in the air. And so the, it's a, a, you know, that's that's what you want. You don't want to be your bird training you to do something when it lands. So Marshall's helped me in that respect as far as knowing exactly what's going on with my bird at all times. I can tell by the speed if he's chasing something or if he's just flying at normal speed uh, because uh, the, you know the chase speeds are obviously up over 50 miles an hour. So it's uh, the first time I used it, I was amazed. And uh, I, I, told, I told Robert, he, you know, I was testing it out. I go, I'm not giving this back to you. There's no way. I'm keeping it. You know, I've been flying sage grouse for over 30 years. In the process of flying uh, grouse, I've lost 10 birds to golden eagles. But this was when I was using traditional telemetry, which, you know, you know, is a, it has a lot more guesswork to it and is not as precise at getting to your bird. With the Marshall GPS system, since I started using the GPS system, I haven't lost a bird. And well, knock on wood, and hopefully I don't. But it, I accredit the system for allowing me to get to my bird quicker and being able to protect it from uh, the black dragons and as well as any other predators that might come in on the bird on the kill. So uh, I, I love it and I wouldn't fly without it.